Stove cooked porcelain clay. To make this, you need some PVA glue, some glycerin, and the arrowroot powder. Also, a mixing bowl, a wooden spoon, a tablespoon, and a cup. Measure one cup PVA glue and pour into the mixing bowl. You need two cups of PVA glue, so measure one more cup and add into the mixing bowl. Now it's time to add the glycerin. For two cups of PVA glue, you need two tablespoons of glycerin. And yes, two cups of arrowroot powder. Well, you can also use disposable cups for this, so you don't need to wash them. Now take the wooden spoon and start mixing these all three things together. I had showed you in my other video that how important this wooden spoon is. So I recommend to always use this wooden spoon. When you reach on this stage, don't think your job is done. Keep mixing until it turns into a smooth creamy mixture like this. Yummy! Just joking. Time to cook. Transfer this mixture into a pan. You need to be very careful. Don't let this mixture smear all around the pan. And try to keep it only in the bottom of the pan. Before we cook it, let's take out some arrowroot powder on a clean and dry surface. Leave it like this and let's move on to the cooking. The flame should be at its extremely low degree. If I try to bring it more low, it turns off. On this low flame, place the pan and cook the dough. And keep mixing throughout the cooking because you need to transfer the heat equally. It takes several minutes to heat up, so be patient. And finally, you'll find the glue is getting thicker like this. Keep mixing. Yes, it's getting harder, but you can't stop. And don't worry about these small soft lumps. This happens. Just avoid making a big hard stone. That occurs when you stop mixing for a long time or don't mix thoroughly. Also, avoid smudging the glue on the walls of pan needlessly. If you do it, remove it neatly, otherwise it will start burning. Now you see this has all bound together. This is exactly what you need. Let me show you how strong the binding is. At this stage, stop cooking. You don't want to make a hard football. Right? Now take this all out on the arrowroot powder. Well, this is a bit hard, but try not to leave any bit behind. You can use your finger to clean this pond. All is done. Now first cover the glue with the arrowroot powder so it don't stick with your hands and then start kneading. Don't worry, it's not hard, it's just firm. You can remove the excess powder if you want and keep kneading. At this stage the dough is soft like we want on the time we use. Don't stop here, keep kneading. We need much harder dough, so keep adding more flour. And make a very hard dough cause it turns softer when it settles down. See these glue flakes, add them into the dough as well and knead. Now you can see the dough is very very hard. This is what you want. So take a generous amount of Vaseline on your hand and smear all over the dough. This will prevent your dough to stick with bag. And put your dough into an airtight bag. Well, I always prefer putting it in two bags for my satisfaction. And then put it into an airtight container. Replace the lid and leave it for two days to settle down. Two days are preferred, but if you need, you can use it next day. Voila! Then take it out of the bag. Grease your hands with the Vaseline first and then break the dough. See how rough is this from inside? I prefer kneading it in small pieces because its fingers break in hard for me. But if you are more strong, knead it in one piece. And see how soft and smooth it is after you knead? Ta da! So keep breaking into small pieces and knead bit by bit. Like this. It is hard in the beginning but it gets softer when it's done. Pick up any fallouts by simply patting the dough on it and knead. When you finish kneading the old pieces, join them back into one piece. Your stove cooked dough is ready now. You can use it right away or save for later. I hope you like this video. Good luck.